Hello, new wave of British Heavy Metal.com here. Today it's the 4th of February 2023. Now, as usual, if I can start by asking the, the favour, and that's if you would please subscribe to the channel, that'd be excellent, appreciated. Every subscriber helps, so please click the button if you would. And today we're going all the way back to the, the, the good old new wave of British Heavy Metal days, first time round, with, with a band called Storm. Now, if you might not have heard of Storm before from back then, I, I hadn't. And um, but thanks to all those good people at Obscure and the Wobbin releases, they fit the spot again and somehow dug up another good one from the old days that would otherwise probably have remained undiscovered. And th 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 this time it's Storm, right? And uh, what what they've done is is put out this limited edition CD as usual with the label. It's it's a 500. Um, unit run and it consists of Storm's demos that they recorded between 1982 and 1983. Now as I've mentioned even though I was buzzing around back then I, I can't remember Storm and um, from, from what I can gather and the, the little bit of information that's in the CD booklet Storm were from Sheffield they, they gigged around a bit they recorded these demos that, that we've got on, on this CD now and then, then pretty much disappeared and that, that seems to be about it the little bit of information that is in the booklet says that they played local venues, they were from Sheffield, like I said, and they played local venues such as the very much missed Wap and Take and Rebels. So I may well have seen them from back then and not realised it, as I, I lived in Sheffield at the time and spent, well, rather misspent many, many evenings in, in the Wap and Take in particular. And uh, should there be any fellow Sheffield Rock fans out there who, from, from back then who, who remember the Wap and Take, you, you'll be all misty-eyed with nostalgia now, just, just like I am. But anyway, we're talking about Storm. Um, here we are, so with 10 demos and, and one live recording. And as I've mentioned, with, with Obscure and the Wobbin releases, it, it's a limited run of 500 CDs. So pick one up quick if you want one. Uh, musically, it's it's very interesting. It's it's a bit rough and ready. Well, you know these are demos, 40 years old after all, and the vocals aren't the best, but th there is much promise in in the songs and, and what the band could do. And um, you know the, the 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 songs that we do have here are not without some refinement, whilst being you know unmistakably of the age, and uh, quite quite v v varied in in composition and delivery as well. Just taking a few of them, Assassin, the, the first one, typical, typical new wave of British heavy metal. It's got it all over it. Big chunky chugging riff, fast paced solos, you know, catchy chorus. Uh, it re reminded me somewhat of a um, little bit of UFO, I, I thought, but you know, that, that's just me, isn't it? Holocaust, which follows, is, is not too dissimilar. Rock, rocks along nicely. It's something of a bit of a dark undertone to it. Satan's Child, that, that's got another big fine chugging riff and it, there's some really tasteful changes of pace in there, alternating backwards and forwards with, with the more powerful side of it. Bring You Down, nice straightforward in your face, punchy fast paced rocker, can't go wrong with that right. But then we've got the big number, the, 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 big, the big one in Hell to Pay, um, begs to be played live this one with, with all the dry ice swirling around which was you know, standard stuff for concerts at the time, wasn't it? Uh, big brooding slow burner builds up the tension, and, and overall, it's a big dramatic mini epic, and some smoking guitar work going on around the the ups and downs and changes of pace and fast and slow and all the rest of it. It really is excellent that that one. And to show the variety even further, we've got Firebrand, which is built around a simple bass riff and 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 accompanying straightforward big guitar chords yet it's got a melodic side to it as well so you know there really is a lot of variety going on here quite quite a bit of talent and a bit based on on the the well the, the nine studio demos plenty of raw talent for sure I'd, I'd describe it after listening to it a few times as uh, a little bit of ufo and a bit of what fellow sheffielders def leppard were doing a bit before they for their first album so if you think about you know the what was what was on that Bludgeon Refoler EP? You, you, you'd probably not be too far away from what Storm were doing. My opinion, more than worthy of checking out, particularly if you're an older Wobbin aficionado like I am, and you can't get enough of all that stuff or this stuff rather. Um, as I've mentioned, it, there are only 500 CDs, 
as is normal with, with the label. As I type this, and um, sorry, as I type this, what am I talking about? As, as I'm recording this, uh, 4th of Feb 2023, the uh, both Obscure and the Wobbin Releases website are showing availability and Sonic Cage Records. So I'll put links to both of them in the description underneath the vid in case you want to scoot along and uh, see if there are any left and you can pick one up for yourself. Because it, it, it is interesting and like, like the, the clue there, it is obscure new wave of British heavy metal, but good at the same time. So check the band out if you'd like to. So links to the label and Sonic Age in, in the description. Please subscribe to the channel before you go. That really would be marvellous. And as always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and take care.